Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this gable frame using moment distribution method. This is a symmetrical frame. In this frame, we have different moment of inertias for the vertical members A, B and D, E. The moment of inertia is 2i. For the inclined members B, C and C, D, it is 3i. Above the frame, we have uniformly distributed load 18 kN per meter. It acts for the full span of the frame. Height of AB and DE is given as 6 meter. We have to find the inclined length of BC and CD. Let us take this triangle. Base of the triangle is 6 and height of the triangle is 3. We can use Pythagoras theorem, root of 6 square plus 3 square. We will get the length of BC and CD. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us find sine theta. That will be 3 upon 3 root 5. We can eliminate 3 so that we will get 1 upon root 5. Now let us find cos theta. That will be 6 upon 3 root 5. 2 3s are 6. Finally, we will get 2 upon root 5. We know that this frame is symmetrical with respect to the dimensions and loadings. So, we can easily find the vertical reactions in the points A and E. To find VA and VE, we have to multiply the load with the distance and then we have to divide that by 2. When we do that, we will get 108 kN. We know that in the case of Suve type frames, in the moment distribution method, we have to do the analysis two times. First, the non Suve analysis and then the Suve analysis. We know that this is a symmetrical frame with respect to the dimensions and the loading. So, from the center, we can split the frame into two parts. We can take only the left half and do the analysis. Here I have taken only the left half. Now let us start the non sway analysis. In this analysis, we assume that in the joint B, there is a roller support which prevents the sway. Now let us find the fixed end movements. In the member AB, there is no load. So both of the fixed end movements are zero. In the member BC, we have uniformly distributed load 18 kN per meter. The formulas to find the fixed end movements are minus WL square upon 12 and positive WL square upon 12. For this load, we have to take this distance and not this distance. For M of BC, we will get minus 54 and for M of CB, we will get 54. Now let us find the stiffness. From the joint B, we have to find the stiffness for BA and for BC. In the point A, there is a fixed support. We can assume that the point C also is fixed. So we have to use only one formula for the stiffness that is 4EA upon L. Length of AB is 6. Let us apply that. The moment of inertia is 2I. So instead of I, we have to apply 2I. Length of BC is 3 root 5. Let us apply that. And the moment of inertia is 3I. So instead of I, we have to apply 3I. For the stiffness of BA, we will get 4EA upon 3. And for BC, we will get 4EA upon root 5. Now let us find sigma K. For that, we have to add these two. After adding, we will get this. Then using this formula, we can find the distribution factors. Now let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members, then the distribution factors, then the fixed end movements. Now let us do the first distribution in the joint B. For that, we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors. When we do that, we are getting negative values. So we have to enter them inside the table as positive. Then let us do the carryover. 
For that we have to divide these values by 2 and then enter the answers. Since in the joint B there is no value, we cannot proceed further. Let us add the values and find the final movements. After adding the values, we are getting the final movements. Let us take these two movements and find the horizontal reaction in the member AB. To find the horizontal reaction HA, let us take movement about to B. HA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6. These two movements are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive. Finally for HA, we will get 5.765 kN. In the joint B, we have kept a roller support. Now let us find the force P in the roller support. Let us take a movement about to see. The force P is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 3. The horizontal reaction in the point A is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 9. The vertical reaction in the point A is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6. Both of the movements MAB and MCB are acting in the clockwise direction so both of them are positive. This load is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative. We know that with the UDL we have to multiply with the distance and distance upon 2. Finally for P we will get a positive value that means the assumed direction is correct. We know that P is the force which prevents the sway. It is acting towards the right side. So the sway force S yes, should be acting towards the left side. We have finished the non-sway analysis. Now let us start the sway analysis. In this analysis, we have to remove all of the loads from the frame. Let us make the frame sway by delta towards the left from the joint B. We are keeping the sway towards the left side because we know that from the joint B the sway occurs towards the left side. Let us keep the force as S dash which causes the sway. From the previous video, we know that if this displacement is a delta, this displacement also should be delta. And we have kept this inclined distance as a delta i. We have to find the delta i in the terms of delta. We know that this angle and this angle will be same. Using this triangle, we have found the sin theta previously. Now using this triangle, let us find sin theta that will be delta upon delta i. Now we can equate these two. After equating, we will get this expression delta i is equal to root 5 delta. For the member a, b, this is the displacement which is delta. And for the member b, c, this is the displacement which is root 5 delta. Now let us find the fixed end moments developed due to sway. The formula is 6 ei delta upon l square. For the member a b, the sway occurs towards the left side. So the fixed end moments should be positive. For the member b c, the displacement occurs on the right side. On the right side, it occurs downwards. So the sway moments should be applied as negative. Length of AB is 6, let us apply that. And the moment of inertia is 2i. So instead of i, we have to apply 2i. Let us take EI delta is equal to 100. For M of AB and M of BA, we will get 33.33. Length of BC is 3 root 5, let us apply that. The moment of inertia is 3i. So instead of i, we have to apply 3i. And the displacement is root 5 delta. So instead of delta, we have to apply that. Finally, for M of BC and M of CB, we will get minus 89.44. Now let us start making the moment distribution table. In the table, first let us enter all of the members. 
then let us enter the distribution factors and then the fixed end moments let us do the first distribution in the joint B for that we have to add these two values and then multiply with the distribution factors when we do that we are getting negative values so we have to enter them as positive then we have to do the carryover for that we have to divide these two values by 2 and then enter the answers we know that we cannot proceed further we have to add the values and find the final moments now using these two moments we can find the horizontal reaction in the point A when we take a movement about to B we will get HA which is 17.1 now let us take a movement about C and find the force S dash since there is no vertical load the vertical reaction in the point A will be zero this reaction is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 9 MAB is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and MCB is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative S dash is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3 finally for S dash we will get this now let us find the correction factor K the formula is S upon S dash we have found both of them using them we can find the correction factor now let us make a table in the table first let us enter all of the sway movements then we have to multiply the sway movements with the correction factor then we have to enter the non sway movements to find the real final movements we have to add these two after adding we will get the real final movements on the left side we have calculated the movements now let us calculate the movements on the right side for that we have to just change the signs for MAB we have got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction so MED should be acting in the anticlockwise direction so that will be negative for MBA also we have got a positive value that means it is acting in the clockwise direction so MDE should be acting in the anticlockwise direction and it will be negative in the similar way we can find MDC and MCD here you can see the bending moment diagram by superposition method now by taking moment about to B we can find the real horizontal reaction HA now let us take the member BC and we have to find the reactions RB and RC first we need to find the vertical reactions VB and VC by taking moment about C we can find VB and then we have to subtract VB by the total load so that we will get VC to find RB we have to multiply VB with cos theta when we do that we will get 79.17 kN and to find RC we have to multiply VC with cos theta when we do that we will get 17.42 kN here you can see the shear force diagram in the member BC in this point and in the member CD in this point the shear force becomes zero in these two points there will be maximum positive bending movement let us take BC and make a section here and find the maximum positive bending movement we have to keep this uniformly distributed load along the direction of BC let us see how to do that first of all we have to multiply the uniformly distributed load with the distance 6 and then multiply with the cos theta and then we have to divide by the inclined length 3 root 5 when we do that we will get 14.4 let us make a section where shear force becomes a 0 at the distance of x from the point c we know that in this section the shear force is 0 using that concept we can find x this reaction is acting upwards so that it will be positive and the UDL is acting downwards so that it will be negative and the distance is x finally for x we will get 1.21 meter 
Now using the value of x, we can find the maximum positive bending moment in BC. Alternatively, we can draw the bending moment diagram, keeping the positive values up and keeping the negative values down. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.